So when people think of an SPSS modeler, they typically think of predictive analytics. And SPSS builds really good predictive models, and it does predictive analytics really, really well. I would go as far as to say that pretty much any predictive model you want to build, you can build in the confines of SPSS Modeler. Um, but Modeler does more than that. It's also a pretty powerful ETL tool. It allows you to do some pretty complex data processing all in a point-and-click GUI interface. Um, and this, and one of the most powerful ETL functions that it that it does is it generates optimized SQL. And this SQL can be copied and pasted into pretty much any other application, be it Oracle, uh, Toad, or um, uh, SQL Server Studio, you know, really any kind of uh, application that uses SQL. Um, you can use the SQL generated from Modeler and copy and paste it into that application. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I haven't written a line of SQL. I don't remember the last time I sat down and wrote SQL because I use Modeler to generate my SQL. Um, and that's what I'm going to show in this, in this video. Um, I'm connected up to, in this stream, I'm connected up to a DashDB or DB2 on the cloud database, but it could be anything. I mean, it could be Oracle, it could be SQL Server, it could be Matiza, DB2, whatever. I mean, whatever database you want to work with, Modeler has the ability to generate uh, specific SQL for that database. Um, but in this case, I'm hooked up to, to DashDB, and I'm connected up to four different tables. Um, these two tables I'm bringing in and I'm merging together on a partial outer join based on an individual ID. Um, I'm taking that result set and I'm merging it with another table um, based on address ID and again it's with a partial outer join and I'm taking that result set and um, I'm merging it with another table again with um, a partial outer join. And then after I merge all of those tables together, I'm writing it back out to the database. So I'm taking four tables, merging them together using a partial out, using mainly partial outer joins, and uh, writing those back into another table inside the database. This doesn't look very scary. Um, I mean, it doesn't look very scary to me. It's just a couple circles and lines, and it was obviously very easy to create. Um, I guess before. Uh, before I, I get in to show you how to actually see the SQL, I probably need to talk about the prerequisites. There are a few things that you have to have in order for Modeler, Modeler to write optimized SQL. One, you have to obviously be connected to the database because that's how you communi applications communicate with databases and how you get information from databases uh, through SQL. So you have to be hooked up to a database. And again, it can be any kind of database. Um, also, you have to go, uh, you have to make sure your options are set correctly inside of Modeler. Um, inside of Modeler, if you click on the three ellipses down here, um, you get the options. And if you click on options here, you want to go to logging and status and make sure that you have three, these three boxes checked. And that's important because when you first install Modeler, um, last time I checked anyway, um, these boxes were not checked. So you have to go in and manually check them. But once you have those two things set, um, you can use your connection to the database. Um, these merge nodes and what other data processing you want to do and Modeler behind the scenes will generate, up, generate, generate optimized SQL. All right, so merging these tables together, I'm going to write them out to the database. Okay, it's done. All right. Again, this doesn't look very scary. Let's look at the actual SQL. So if I go back down here to the three ellipses, click on this right here, here's the actual SQL that those, this very, un, very friendly looking um, nodes and lines um, created. And this is not very friendly looking. Um, it's kind of scary looking actually. Um, but we can actually go in here and um, just select this, do the old control C thing, and then copy and paste that into another application. So just for simplicity's sake, I will copy it into a notepad. So there's the optimized SQL. And I could go through here and clean this up a little bit. It just comes out as raw text, but you know, you can go in here and um, you know, find your from statements. Um, let's see if I can find one. Um, and your where statements and things like that. Um,
see, there's a from statement. And just kind of format it, you know, um, anyway, to make it easier to work. But that's just for readability. But you can copy and paste this into, like I said, any application, even it's a notebook. Um, you know, if you're querying a notebook from, querying a database from a notebook. So I guess the point here is that there's really no, this is very scary looking. I mean, this is, this would have taken a lot of time to write. Um, this would have taken a lot of time to, to, to key in manually. But by using these, these, uh, these nodes inside of Modeler and these functions, pre-built functions inside of Modeler, I was to generate, I was able to generate this very scary code very simply and easily. So scary, not scary. <laughs> Modeler takes the the scary and makes it it makes it easy to uh, it makes it it creates a, a not scary way to generate scary stuff. <laughs> That's kind of my point here. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you very much.